We have a health epidemic and we have an economic and social epidemic at the same time. We really have a, a very strong dilemma here, how to balance between two evils. One is staying in lockdown and the other is opening up, risking having a resurgence. It's very clear that keeping lockdown on is devastating for the economy. And it's clear that continuing lockdown for long times is untenable. I think what we need now is a solution that would enable us in the next one, two, three months time scale to find a way to get the economy back into work and to get people to have their balance again. That the balance is both their health and their ability to work and do things. And that's where the idea of using intermittent work plays a big part. The idea is a two week cycle where you work for four days and then you enter 10 days of lockdown. And then the next two weeks you work for four days and 10, 10 days of lockdown. We know that when a person gets infected, they have a latent period. They're not infectious for about three days. They can't infect others. After that, they become infectious and then they get symptoms. So the 4-10 schedule works this way. If you get infected in, your, in a work day, you're in your latent period and you only become infectious or you reach your peak infectiousness at home when lockdown, when you don't have access to many other people. And that restricts the virus's ability to infect many people. That brings the virus replication number below one, which we know is the magic number for the number of new cases to decline. All you need to do is enforce work days and lockdown days. It could be on the scale of a company. It could be on the scale of a county or a state or an entire country. Now you have an economy that's predictable. It's a part-time economy. You know when you're going to work, when shops will be open, when everybody will be outside. It might very well be that with 40% of the days, you can achieve much more than 40% of the work or more than 40% of the revenue because of two aspects. One is that on those 40% of days, you can work longer hours. You might be working much longer hours, so effectively, you might be achieving much more. You can also make it even better. You can divide the population into two groups of households, group A and group B, and have group A do a 4-10 schedule, and group B do a 4-10 schedule, but on alternating weeks. So you have the extra benefit of reduced density. Plus, you have the economy running uh, with shifts almost continuously. You can achieve really close to 100% of the business days. I wanna say also that with intermittent work, you give people these four days also to do their critical medical checkups and to take care of their health, to take care of their mental health, to see their families, to have breathing space. And that makes adhering to the lockdown days much easier. This was developed in a combination of mathematical models and epidemiologists. The mathematical models we use are the classical models that inform policy all over the world. We think it's urgent to get this um, information to decision makers in order to have a more responsible plan for an exit strategy, or at least a plan for what happens if there is a resurgence. In the long term, we're looking for a vaccine and we want to win the fight against the virus altogether and get back to our lives. But in the midterm, we need to find a way to get back to at least partial work and get the economy back to work. And four out of 10 days could enable that and would buy us the time for the scientists and as well as others to find the long-term solution.